That's for four people for eight days. And no, I didn't do the best job compiling everything into two suitcases, but that wasn't the point of this video, was it? Yep. It was to show you how we pack for Disney, what we pack for Disney, and we left tons of extra room for what? For Disney souvenirs. Woohoo! So, last time I did a packing video and it was kind of last minute. And so this time I actually have a little bit more time to pack, but I'm gonna go through the suitcases with you a little bit. I'm not gonna tear everything out because some of it's pretty self-explanatory, toiletries, clothes, that sort of thing. Here's the pile on the bed. And you can see I've got like a carry-on bag and toiletry bag. There is my mini backpack that I will be taking on the plane and into the park each day. And then I have this giant suitcase for me. And then the kids each have a suitcase. And Landon and Emma both have their Walt Disney World backpacks. So it looks like a lot of stuff. And you know what? It is a lot of stuff. Um, it's actually a lot of luggage. But... There's a lot of extra space and I've contemplated like taking all of the stuff out of my carry-on bag and putting it in my huge suitcase because I don't really need that big of a suitcase. Bob took our other one to um, Alabama. He's in Alabama right now, so he's not with us on this trip. But I figured I might as well leave it, leave the space because that means we can bring home more souvenirs, right? Yeah! Let's get started with what's in the carry-on bag. So in this pocket here, I have a little case and this has all of our toothbrushes and toothpaste. I think some deodorants are in here. Also in our carry-on bag, just so I can be ready to get things done in the room right away, I have this, and I will show you more of these when we get to the room, but these are banners that we hang up in the windows, and they hang down, and they have um, suction cups here. You can see the suction cups in the bag, and they're so cute, and I got them made by Kelly's Creations, and she is on Etsy and Facebook. So I love Kelly, she's done a lot of stuff for us. All right, next up, Adeline, you wanna hold this for a minute? Hold that for me. Let's see what's in this one, I don't remember. Oh, look at that, we need those, don't we? Look at how many magic bands I'm bringing this time, you guys. Whoa. So I kind of um, just connected them all together for each person. I think these are Emma's magic bands, and that way we have choices on what colors we'd like to have. And we'll probably put one of those on uh, prior to departing from the airport. And then Landon has a few pairs of sunglasses in here. So these are gonna stay in our carry-on bags. We need those at the airport when we touch down in MCO, Orlando. I also have this little folder. And this little folder contains all of our mouse keeping tip envelopes. And I mentioned Kelly earlier, she made our banners, but she also makes these adorable mouse keeping tip envelopes. She does not include the money, we add that ourselves. But they are so cute and she makes whatever character you want. And I like to leave these in the room on our pillow or on the nightstand so that mousekeeping knows that we love them and we appreciate their hard work. The other thing that we're doing this time and I didn't talk about on our haul video is I bought a bunch of these matted frames. I think that's what they're called, right? Yep. Yeah. Frame mats, whatever. Anyway, they're white and the kids are going to use these to get characters autographs on and I have 10 of these. Um, so yeah, they're just simple. They have a five by seven opening and I'm just keeping them in a folder so that they don't get bent or wet in our park bag. So there's a whole bunch in this folder here. We of course have Dolly Tawa and if you watched mm -hmm. our announcement video, then you know who Dolly Tawa is. Dolly Tawa! We will be getting some pictures in the park with this little miss and she is all ready for Disney World as you can see. My Aunt Marsha made this Minnie Mouse dress. I've been using this box that from See You Real Soon ears that I got last year to house some of our things that I don't want broken. So. Can you see in here, Addie? Can you hold this up a little bit? Yeah. All right, so in here I just have a bunch of different ears and those bows that kind of clip onto the ears that I showed in our haul video, as well as a bunch of glasses from Geeked Out Getaways. Getaways. Actually, her shop is called Geeked Out Gear. Check her out, she's on Etsy. These are so pretty. These are actually Emma's Ariel Disney Bound sunglasses, and I showed the other sunglasses in my haul video, so check it out. I always bring an empty water bottle because I like to do girl's hair and it's easier to have that with us and everyone has a pair of PJs for this evening. All right, moving on to the giant suitcase. This is my hard-sided Delcy suitcase and I love it because not only does this pocket expand, but on this side you also have 
a zipper pocket so it closes everything off and so I like to keep shoes and sort that sort of things over here and all of my toiletries I have this toiletry bag that I think I picked up a few years ago at uh, probably either TJ Maxx or Marshall something like that and I love it because it hangs in the bathroom on the hook and it has all these different pockets so I have that top pocket there where I can keep some small items I like to keep some small combs q-tips and then things to take my makeup off in the evening makeup in this one face washes and stuff in this and all the other things that I would need in here for getting ready in the morning and showering that sort of thing the other thing that I like about this bag is these actually are velcro and they come off and so I'll usually take these off when we get to the room and then I can just set these right up on the counter so I absolutely love this bag it has been so convenient also I have a bag right here and it just holds all of my yes I bring a glue gun I know I'm a little nuts guys I get it but I'm telling you this has come in handy on more than one occasion I also have this six USB charging dock so that we can all be charging our electronic devices simultaneously and then I have all of the USB cords here as well and then we also have our GoPro Hero 6 and this is in black and I'm not bringing any accessories for this because I plan to just kind of hold it like this when we go down Splash Mountain and that way I can just easily keep it inside of my park bag and I might move this bag into our carry-on just so I make sure I have all of it in fact I, I think I probably will do that um, I also have three different battery charging docks and this is for my Canon camera so this one is it just charges one battery at a time and then I have two of these that charge two batteries at a time so I can be charging four batteries no five I can charge all five batteries at once which is really nice I brought some extra camera accessories these are the windscreens so that you can't hear the wind if we are outside Epcot I find is the one that is most windy of all the parks so it comes in handy there and then I also like to bring my TENS unit it has these little electrode pads and I brought an extra battery for that because this is really nice in the end of the evening when I get back and I'm, I lay down in bed um, if my back's a little sore then I can just put this on and I wake up in the morning and back pain is gone it's wonderful if you don't have one get one it's great so I'll just run through really quick I always like to bring an assortment of camis so I have four camis there with me I have several pairs of pajamas to bring with us and also a swimsuit and swimsuit cover-up I did bring a hoodie and I also packed a sweatshirt for the plane in our carry-on bag. If you watched my haul video, you would have seen this awesome R2-D2 costume and that is coming with us, as well as all the other tops that I showed you and I have shorts for each of those tops. I just got a couple of things at Marshall's last night and so this is the first one. It's just a oversized, flowy, flowery tank top that I love. I also got a really cute tie-dye lightweight tank dress that I thought would be fun to wear. It's going to be hot, so it's nice to have nice cool items. And then I also got this outfit. Um, it's just a white tank top with some cute like linen oh shorts. The rest of the tops I showed in different haul videos. You would have seen this one in my recent haul video from Sprinkle Me Styles. It's Mary Poppins shirt. Pandora one's here. And then this one has been in my vlogs from the December trip that's my snow white shirt as well as my Star Wars shirt is from the December trip and uh, my hangry shirt that's just like Landon's that I can't wait to wear and he already told me he's not wearing it the same day as me but I'm going to you guys I'm gonna wear it underneath my sweatshirt when I see him wear his yeah sneaky mom all right so that's everything for that suitcase I'm gonna also throw in here I, I bring these every trip I probably will do at least one load of laundry and these are laundry pods. I also recommend bringing some Ziploc bags. They come in really handy if you have any leftovers from different meals that you eat or wet items that you need to pack in your bag when you're coming back home. I also bring some laundry bags for delicates and this has an assortment of bobby pins and hair things. I like to bring this folder on the plane. I'm going to go through and just kind of firm up our schedule, look it over so I know where we're going to be and what we're doing each day. I have everything kind of marked out already for the different days, but I want to rewrite it um, and check all of the hours for the parks because they've changed since I originally wrote this this calendar out for us. They, they always lengthen the hours on the days as you get closer and closer to your trip. So I know now a lot of the parks, instead of being open until 10 or 9.30, are actually open until 12. So I want to write all of that down on my schedule 
and then I will have that ready to go and I can just kind of refer to it each day before we go to the park. We'll know what park we're going to, where we're gonna be park hopping to. For the most part, there's some flexibility in there. All right, so here's our carry-on bag for the plane. I just showed you the folder. Landon's monster bag has a bunch of snacks for the plane in it. Landon has a sweatshirt, I have a sweater, and Addie has a sweater in here. So I believe that's about it. So that's what's in Landon's bag, but he will bring this into the park with him each day and it will carry all of our ponchos and what else, Emma? Oh, uh, uh, autograph yeah. mats that we're gonna be doing, markers, that sort of thing. So. All right, now we're going to go through Landon's suitcase and I have all of his clothes on this side. Sometimes I'll put their clothes in bags, like Ziploc bags, and I've shown that before in other videos. Landon's clothes don't fit in Ziploc bags anymore. So what I do with his is I just kind of lay his outfits together, shirt and shorts, and I just roll them up. It's really that simple. And that way when he takes his clothes out in the morning, that whatever he wants to wear that day for the parks, then everything is together. And so he also has a bunch of his Disney hats in here. And I think he's got a couple extra pairs of sunglasses in the suitcase as well. Pajamas, socks, underwear, that sort of thing. Hola, como estas? All right, and then on this side of the suitcase, he's got some flip-flops for the park and pool and some black sneakers. What are you bringing for the plane? Your gray sneakers? Yes. And then he's got um, socks, hats, and then he also has his Poe costume in here. We did a, in our Disney haul, I showed that he's going to go as Poe, Disney bound as Poe, at Star Wars Galactic Nights. I cannot wait for that event. I always bring a pop-up laundry hamper so I can throw everything in here. The kids can just get changed at the end of the day and throw all their dirty laundry in here. And then it's also a good way to carry the laundry down to the laundry facilities at your resort just in case you decide to do some laundry there. Okay, this case is actually just a clear case that you'd get when you buy a new set of sheets. And I'd like to save these for traveling. Um, they come in really, really handy. They're see-through, so when you go through security, if they need to see inside your luggage, they can see all of your belongings. And then in here I have, this is actually something that will stay in our park bag. It's just, it's basically a first aid kit. And so I keep moleskin and band-aids and sunblocks and little, like the little sunblocks are in here. And then I also have larger sunblocks that we'll be bringing with us too. But everything kind of fits in this little bag and I love it. Um, love to bring clothespins for the room. They usually have a pull out clothesline in the shower. So this just helps, you know, if you need to hang up small things and they keep falling off the line. So I usually bring clothespins with us. I always bring a pair of scissors with us. And in here, this weighs a ton right now, um, but these are all our coin holders and we have quarters and pennies in here for the coin press. And I also have the kids' penny press books. I have three of these and this is fun for them to be able to bring into the park with them. And then when they get a new press penny, they can add it to their collection or they can look through and see if they have that penny yet or not. And a whole bunch of fat markers for the characters to sign our autograph mats with. Oh, and don't forget the gum. Disney does not sell gum anywhere on Disney property. So just a little FYI there. But Emma's is pretty empty too, so we have to buy lots of souvenirs. That's what that means. Like, we yeah. need to have more stuff. <laughs> I'm just kidding, Bob. I'm just kidding. Don't have a panic attack. All right, so Emma has all of her things in here. First thing she has that you haven't seen from the other suitcases is her towel bag. And this is a little backpack towel, and you just take the towel out, and the bag's actually sewn right into it. So it's pretty cool. You kind of like stuff the towel inside of itself. And I've also placed some of her. Mickey ears. Um, this is Donald ears. Donald. And they're hiding underneath her things. And then she has extra pairs of sandals and shoes in here, pajamas, camis, tank tops. And so in here, I just have all of Emma's outfits. They're already together, so anything that she's going to be wearing as an outfit, I just pack them on top of each other. So this is an Ariel outfit that she has, for example. Green shorts, purple top, Ariel Disney bound outfit and then all of our hair accessories and stuff are in another suitcase. And she has her Chewy dress for yes. Galactic Nights and her Star Wars dress for another day at Hollywood Studios and bathing suit, this new mini dress that I showed in our haul video, her Donald LuLaRoe leggings that we showed from December's video. Oh, Emma, we should show them this. This is so cute. Mm -hmm. We have to meet Allison. This is an Alice in Wonderland dress. And I think this is from, this is a Disney dress, but I'm pretty sure this is from like 
Hot Topic. I could be wrong. I'm not really sure. But we found it at like Goodwill. Goodwill or yeah. some thrift store. <laughs> so excited to find that. And I also have our Magical Express tags. And this is our first time ever getting to use the Magical Express. So I'm so excited. I don't think these tags are going to actually do us any good. Because our flight gets in at 11. And from what I'm reading on their information, it says, if you would like to participate in the luggage delivery service available for flights arriving between 5 a.m. and 10 p.m., please attach the enclosed luggage tags on each item that you'll be checking with your airline. So, we get in on 11. These aren't going to do us any good. But you know what? I've never gotten to use the Magical Express before. This is our <laughs> first time. So, we're going to use the tags anyway it'll make me feel better. I forgot, Addie has all the good stuff in hers. So she's got all of her outfits, all of the outfits that you've seen in our December haul and in our May haul videos and our trip haul video from last time. She got this, this is adorable. I love this hat. I don't think it fits me. Oh, it sort of does. If you, I think it, does it adjust the back? It does, but anyway, so cute. I love this mini hat. And she's got like a bunch of her hair bows and stuff. So she's got all her outfits in here all packed nicely. I was able to get some of her Mickey ears in here all secure so that they don't get mushed and broken. And then in this side of the suitcase, I was Whoa. able to find a bunch of things that we need for each day at the room. So she's also got the Mickey towel bag like Emma has. And then I have Emma's oh hidden Mickey book was in here. I'm so happy about that book. And we have five Disney parks. No, we have four Disney parks ponchos in here. I forgot Bob's not coming this time. <laughs> so we have our ponchos in here and I like to keep them in a big plastic bag because if you need them and you usually need them at Disney at least once, then they will be soaking wet and you won't want to put them back in your park bag like that. So I bring a bag with me and then this whole thing will be transferred into Landon's or Emma's Walt Disney World Parks bag that we'll bring to the parks with each day, as well as this hidden Mickey book. My bag. And then I have an entire bag. I told you about these before. These are like the sheet uh, plastic zipper containers that brand new sheets come in, and I love them. And so I have a bunch of snacks in here. I went to Costco because I love Costco. I need to do a video on Costco sometime because we're obsessed. Do and Costco. I got a big box of all these from protein bars. So we can have these for breakfast in the morning. And then the kids wanted these uh, fruit strips. So I have a whole bunch of those in here. And there are also packages of trail mix. And so this whole thing is full, but it should be plenty for all of us to have snacks for the duration of the trip. I think we're there eight full days. And so we'll each have snacks for each day. And plus I thought the protein bars were kind of a, a nice breakfast so we can save a little bit of money because we're not on the dining plan this time. The previous two trips we've actually had the dining plan um, and we found that it was too much food. So we want to try it this time without the dining plan and see if we bring some of our own snacks and then just go out for a couple of quick service meals this trip. I didn't even schedule any dining. All right, last but not least, I'm gonna show you what's in my park bag. And this is actually going on the plane with me today. This is my Minnie Mouse by Loungefly bag and I've used it the entire 12 night trip that we went on in December as well as taking it into Six Flags a few times. I love it. It's got a nice little zipper pocket in the front and I keep some of my accessories in here for my um, my camera. This is actually an attachment that goes on my Manfrotto so that I can use it for my cell phone. I love it. I have a bunch of little water flavors in here. Um, this is a little package of ibuprofen and I've got chapsticks in here or lip gloss in here, pens, some gum, and that's pretty much what's in this little front pocket. And then hanging off the bag I have this YouTube play button on Mickey ears key fob and this was made by 10 and 6 gifts and she made it for me and stitched my name on the back it says Thomas ever after this is something that she and I actually designed together and she was able to put my ideas into creation and I love this she did such a great job I also have hanging from my keychain a bottle of hand sanitizer it's a must-have in the park and then hanging from the other side of the bag I have my bell keychain from Caitlin at all about the magic and I have this little triangle bag that my friend Ashley at 10 and 6 gifts made for me. She's the one that made this Mickey hat, key fob. And it just unzips and I have my chapstick in here. I have a few band-aids, some Tums, or what are those, Pepto-Bismol. And then I also have 
oh, I guess a bunch of chapsticks. So it's just a bunch of little first aid items that you can quickly grab inside this little tiny bag. I love it, I'm gonna try it out. She wants me to kind of test run it for her, but I think they're adorable and they have all the little Mickeys and Minis all over them, the classic ones. See, the little Minnie Mouse with the daisy cap? Isn't she cute? All right, and then inside the bag, I have the rest of our Magical Express information. I also have this packing cube. This is from Eagle Creek. I used it for our last trip. I love it. I keep all of my batteries here. These are all charged and when they are dead, I keep them in this little pocket at the bottom. I have all of my SD cards in this case here. And this just zips closed and everything stays nice and safe and dry. My wallet and a pair of sunglasses. And I also have a power charger for my phone as well as earphones for the plane and my USB cord. That way if my phone dies then I can charge it. More gum as well. And I also decided that I was going to keep our GoPro inside my park bag because I was too nervous about leaving it in my, um, my checked luggage just in case we lose our luggage or it gets stolen or anything like that. So it's staying in this bag and it'll stay in my park bag. So that's what's going in here. I'm also going to be putting my Canon G7X, which Landon is recording on right now. It will go inside this little low pro pouch. And my Manfrotto Pixie Mini, which is the small handheld tripod. It doesn't extend and that just fits onto the bottom of my camera. So we use that when we're walking around and talking into the camera in the parks. And yeah, so those will all fit inside this bag with my cell phone and a hairbrush apparently. We've gotta go. It is 3.44 right now. We will be arriving at MCO Airport at 11 p.m. this evening and Disney's Magical Express will be picking us up and taking us to Pop Century Resort. It's our first time taking Magical Express. It's our first time staying at Pop Century. I can't wait. Eight days, one mama, three kiddos, no dad. Wow. Am I crazy? How was that packing video? I hope you enjoyed it. Is everybody ready to go? Yeah! Yeah! And here's our pile, guys. There it is. The pile. That's for four people for eight days. And no, I didn't do the best job compiling everything into two suitcases, but that wasn't the point of this video, was it? It was to show you how we pack for Disney, what we pack for Disney, and we left tons of extra room for what? For Disney souvenirs! Woohoo! Who's ready to go? Me! 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 Let's get out of here! Okay, bye! <laughs>